Good afternoon. We are going to get back in the de Havilland uh, <laughs> yeah, de Havilland Beaver uh, DHC-2 de Havilland Beaver. Got I had to get it, get it get it prompted to me. Couldn't remember. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna depart uh, Byron here, which is uh, over next to the Delta, near Stockton. Near Stockton, right over there. This is called the Clifton Court Four Bay, and that uh, ties in to the California Aqueduct, which sends water down to Los Angeles. Uh, controversial. Uh, the water is always controversial. But uh, I put in this uh, this Franklin Field up here. Uh, I had a little incident up there. I worked for a short time for the Piper dealer out of uh, Sacramento. And uh, somebody traded in a small home-built airplane, which uh, I think was called like a flybaby. And uh, so I just thought I'd fly it around so I'd know what it was like. Single seat. There, uh, didn't have two seats. It was a one-seat airplane, as I recall. And uh, I flew it south from Sacramento. South Sacramento would be maybe 40, 50 miles north of that. You can see the Sacramento River uh, coming down here, the old river. And then uh, you can see uh, uh, Steamboat Slough goes right down there, Rio Vista is right here. I talked about that in a previous uh, thing. I was in the uh, in the uh, uh, TBM 930 running down there. Uh, ended up landing it to Rio Vista. And here's Frank's track. We talked about that. And, and uh, the porthole restaurant, Rusty Porthole was in there, all that. And the club that I belonged to when I had my boat was right in here. Sportsman Yacht Club in Antioch and of course here's the Sacramento River coming down and what we're going to do is we're going to be messing around over here by the San Joaquin River which goes over to Stockton and then runs down. It ends up that the headwaters of the San Joaquin River, I never knew this, I, I, I didn't know it went down as far as Fresno. It cuts over Fresno up into the Sierras and ends up the headwaters are up uh, just over the over the top on the west side of, of Mammoth Mountain, and uh, you've heard me talking about Mammoth Mountain, which uh, again is a little south of Yosemite. But uh, anyway, San, Ra San Joaquin River kind of runs all over, and it's pretty much dried up uh, uh, south of uh, Stockton. So uh, they're hoping to restore it. I can talk forever going over this way. Here's uh, uh, San Pablo Bay is here. Here's a little airplane running across the bay. SKW3772, that's his transponder. We're out far enough that it uh, doesn't bring up the actual airplane. Here's the Golden Gate Bridge right down there. So San Pablo Bay, the Carquina Straits, and Carquinas is in here. I forget which side of it, the uh, bay is on. Vallejo was a uh, big area. The first uh, uh, west, uh, west Coast Naval Shipyard was right here. Mare Island, I believe it's called. A lot of history in here. Vallejo was... Uh, Possibly the first or second. San Jose maybe was the first capital before Sacramento. Vallejo was a capital city for a short time. Of course, the river was the main thing before the railroads. The river was the main thoroughfare. So this was maybe centrally located between Sacramento and San Francisco, where all the action was in Northern California. And... Uh, Anyway, here's Fairfield. That's uh, Travis Air Force Base up there. Here's Napa. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, we're taking off from Byron. Nice little airport here. Uh, and uh, then we're going to go north, and I'll point out whatever I, I can along the way. 
and we will not go any farther north than, than Terminus, which is about halfway up here, and uh, Highway 12 comes out of Lodi, going over to, going over to uh, Rio Vista, straight straight shot out of Lodi, and uh, I'm going to go up and show you Tower Park, big, big resort. So we're just going to pop around the resorts in the Delta again. The Delta is a thousand miles of waterways here, and I've recaptured. Uh, land uh, the spring runoff this would all be flooded some somebody I forget uh, who Fremont or somebody climbed up on Mount Diablo and looked out to the east way back and uh, this was all covered with water I guess and I guess he was there in the springtime and they had the spring runoff hopefully this spring runoff won't uh, cover the water but there is is a lake down down south of Baker, uh, north of Bakersfield, and Old Lake is uh, reappearing. The, the runoff is uh, how much land is going to end up underwater down there. I don't know. But anyway, the Chinese built the Delta system and recaptured all this. I talked about Frank's track right here, where this was a, a piece of land back when I was born, 1937. It probably the 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 storm and the height and the tides the tides there's about a two foot tide up here and the tide uh, and the the wind sur wind surge or the tide surge blew down the the levee and that got covered they re rebuilt the levee pumped it out this is my understanding and in 1938 it blew down again so it's uh, it's just a lake they call it Frank's track but there is not actually a track there it's a lake so that why they didn't change it to Frank's Lake I don't know so these are all tracks in here with the uh, levee the levee system and it's uh, it's fascinating a lot of resorts and it's great uh, great fishing and and uh, water sports water skiing wakeboarding and uh, jet skis all kinds of stuff all kinds of boating uh, used to have a lot of houseboats went around through there so anyway sorry about the dragging on and uh, let's get going see what we can see here thanks for your patience and uh, if you know me uh, I don't I, I won't if you know the area and uh, fast forwarding I, I can't blame you fast forward so you don't have to hear everything fine Find what you're looking for and uh, slow down and take a look. Charlie 8 tree okay. traffic to Haviland 527 Bravo Charlie taking off runway 5 east departure. Yep, so we I picked 5 to go east and uh, we're going to go over that uh, Clifton Court forebay first and then turn north to Discovery Bay which was an area that was built to uh, to accommodate to people that wanted to have their home and have their boat tied up right outside their house. So we'll fly over that. And we got a little bit of flap here. We'll get rid of that after we get off the ground. Let's go see what we can see. Brakes off. Full power. This has a radial engine. How many horsepower? I don't know whether it gets up to 300 or 400 horsepower. Or how many cylinders? We won't worry about that. Here we go. And we'll see. I see the four bay already. And we'll come back on the throttle and the power. And we'll take a look around where we are. We have two runways there at Byron. That's looking over toward... Uh, let's see. We're heading... Uh, northeast so that's probably looking over to south of, uh, of Stockton and we'll get up to about a thousand feet where we can see what we're doing here I'm gonna I'm gonna change the uh, Sun put it a little higher in the sky so we can see what we're gonna see and I can see, uh, and if we look south, we, we might, yeah, see, we see the aqueduct going, going south. 
and it runs down these uh, foothills. That's down the Sacramento Valley going down that way. Oh, we didn't put our uh, gear up. That, that might get us to go a little quicker. And we'll go back uh, to the north. And all these little waterways are navigable by uh, by boats that uh, some of them get deep. They're dredged out like along the river. But these are probably 10, 15 feet deep at the most. And the levees are on either side of these waterways. And then we're going to fly over Discovery Bay. And uh, coming out of Discovery Bay, there, there's, uh, oh, there, there it goes right there. I forget whether it's like Victoria Slough or something like that Go, goes out. And right over here is where the the uh, big uh, big boats with big V8 engines, and uh, they do some wakeboarding and stuff. But uh, some some faster boats, and they have the music on the towers. And they all pull up uh, on a beach there and party, and it's really quite something. And, and all all of all of the all these waterways, you can we used to do some skiing. The water down on this end of the delta is a little warmer than up at the head headwaters. Again, the San Joaquin River runs over to Stockton up in here, so these waters down here don't get the get the uh, cool water input. So here is Discovery Bay. They have a golf course, and then all of these uh, all these houses along the water have docks. And this is looking back across to uh, where the, the uh, Sportsman's Yacht Club uh, was. And uh, some of these areas have, all of this has, has a speed limit, uh, uh, five mile an hour speed, speed limit, uh, because they don't, they don't want the, uh, the wake to, to, uh, to Jostle the boats, and we got to put the put the flaps up. That'll give us a little more speed, and we won't, we will we get that sun out of the way. And again, when you want to go out to do your water skiing, you could go along here, but going out the, like the straight shot here, there might be quite a bit of traffic with boats going back and forth making waves so that might not be a very good and that would go with the wind so there would be a little bit of chop what you want to find for wakeboarding is is uh, to be uh, to be uh, uh, to the to the uh, have have the wind at your left or right this is Orwood Resort uh, they have a bar and they have music and dancing right in there. And then the, uh, the, uh, the water system going to San Francisco out of Hetch Hetchy Reservoir goes right by here. They have these big, huge, huge uh, 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 tubes <laughs> of water. And you go, you, you go all up and all along here. Uh, this, you can fly along it. Full, full tilt. So I need to look at uh, at my my chart. Uh, I'm a little bit to the left of uh, of going to uh, up to a terminus to catch catch that. But again, we're we look over toward. We've gone around Frank's track. That's right, right over there. And again, the San Joaquin River and the Sacramento River go together, right, right over in there. I forget what this little little area is in here. There was a there was a lake that was called uh, uh, something something in here. Yeah, Rio Vista is over that way. Again, that's that's probably Frank's track right there. And uh, we're getting back on track. We're going to go up here. You see, see all kinds of little little farms. This is all farmlands. It was captured by building the Delta, Delta system. Uh, 
I've never been to uh, Heritage Field. And we're on course to go up to uh, to Tower Park. I want a good terminus is where Highway 12 comes out of Lodi and it lo runs over to uh, Rio Vista. So we're going to go on up there and, and at some point here we're going to run into the San Joaquin River. That's the that's this uh, water that's up up to the top. The San Joaquin Keen River runs runs down into uh, into Stockton, and I have to get on that. I'm not sure whether this is the, the I, whether this is a San Joaquin here. I don't think so. I think it's the next the next uh, next river up there is is the uh, San Joaquin, and it meanders uh, quite a bit like this right in here. Um, so they have uh, dug out Stockton is a steep water uh, deep water port so they have to dredge uh, the San Joaquin River and they take it down to about 40 feet deep so we're right on on course the place we used to go my my friend uh, that I met on a yacht out of Sausalito and she was a member of the St. Francis Yacht Club. So St. Francis has a uh, summer uh, location. The, the bay in the summertime, it's windy and cold and foggy and, and choppy and, wind, and a lot of wind. And the wind coming off the Pacific is, is cool. It's uh, in the 60s, maybe in the... Yeah, it would be in the 60s. And that's a little chilly. Up here... It gets uh, occasionally gets up to a hundred, but uh, if it's ninety, these waters are all uh, just under seventy degrees. So if you're on the water, uh, if it's uh, if it's ninety degrees, it feels like eighty, and if it's eighty degrees, it's just about right. And if it gets a little a little too uh, too hot, you just jump in the water, and the water is uh, seventy-eight. Uh, excuse me, 68 degrees. So let's see if we see. So this is probably the San Joaquin River coming coming down across here. Yeah, and see the see the channel how they dredge the channel right through there. So I'll try to stay on course, and then we're going to come back down and go by Eight Mile Road, which is just Eight Mile Road runs out here from Stockton. So we'll come down and we'll go by the, the uh, Tinsley Yacht Club, which I believe is right, right about there. You'll, you'll see all the docks and so forth. Again, I, I'm, I'm almost positive that's the uh, San Joaquin River. So we're gonna go up here and we wanna end up at Tower Park, which is a huge resort up here and again that's uh, that's just straight west from Lodi and all of these all of these sloughs here uh, are uh, navigable for for small craft yeah I think I'm looking looking at uh, so when we see a uh, we see the main road. This is this is probably so there's a trailer park there. There's there's uh, uh, storage. Uh, there's uh, slips that are that are under uh, under. Let me let me get the chart out here so I don't don't miss terminus. Yeah, see we're we're right on, and I think we're we're just we're just about there. I think. I think this is yeah. Now I can see see the uh, the slips. They're covered slips here for the for the number of boats that are stored up there. So I've come up both ways, up this way and over over this way, and we have done just uh, north of here. We have done some wakeboarding right in there. So this is this this big uh, big resort right in here. 
with lots going on. They have mobile homes. They have uh, uh, houseboats to rent. They've got a, a bar and a restaurant. They've got they've got everything. And these are the underwater, I mean, under the roof uh, storage. These are all shops and so forth. The restaurant is right in there, and I'll get rid of this now. And this is Highway 12 right there. Highway 12, again, goes into Lodi that way and comes out, goes to Rio Vista, going back the, back the other way. The guy I worked for in Carmel Valley selling real estate, I don't mind telling you his name. He's gone now. Lost him a little. Nice guy. His dad won the U.S. Open in 1941, just before the, the situation at Pearl Harbor. And uh, that summer, uh, Lawson Little Sr. won the U.S. Open golf tournament. Lawson Little, the, I knew, Jr., was, was, a, was a fabulous golfer himself. So we'll just take this, this back down. And again, I've, I've taken both, both ways in, in the boat. This is, this is great to go cruising. I wasn't, I wasn't a fisherman. But uh, but I loved I loved being on the water, and uh, Tower Park was a, was a great spot. All kinds of boats, boy! They got they got the the hot boats, you know, with the big V8s, twin V8s, you know, the thousand horsepower, and they go about a hundred miles an hour, and they just just fly in some of these open areas. A little bit of drinking, a little little bit of funny business uh, takes place. Now we want to try to. Uh, there's uh, Mount Diablo over there uh, to the to the southwest. In the summertime, you can use that to help you figure out which way you're heading. And, uh, and of course, San Francisco would be right about over in there. And we, we saw Heritage Field on the way up. So I want to see if I see 8 mile, 8 mile Road. This could be 8 Mile Road right here. Before I owned a boat, I rented a boat. I believe it was right out of here. And what I want to do is right here on the San Joaquin River, I want to see, see the, uh, the St. Francis Yacht Club. My friend uh, that... Uh, introduced me to the, uh, the facility since she was a member I, I could stop there it is a private club when I first came out of uh, Stockton excuse me out of Sausalito we came and the, this is the Little Venice Yacht Club right here there was a stag weekend right here at the Little Venice Yacht Club and uh, also Tinsley Island has a stag cruise every uh, every fall and uh, the, the little venice yacht club god i think it was like 125 dollars for from friday until sunday and you had everything to eat we, sh we should just we should just do a touch and go right here but uh, this is this is uh this is tinsley island and they have a the old uh they have their a swimming pool, and then they have the the old lighthouse from down San Pablo Bay is is right there. Still has the still has the uh, rotating light in it. So I got to get in behind here so I can see what I'm doing on the main channel. This would be just about this time of year. The boats are coming out. I'm a little fast. I'm gonna put the flaps down down for landing and that's your Delta Delta cruise we'll get down here a little closer there we go we'll put the put the flaps up a couple of notches there we go Cup takeoff flap then we'll fly over Stockton, this beautiful uh, port. They've, they've really, there we go. And going along here, there's uh, resorts. Uh, I gotta put 
the flaps up. There they go. Going into Stockton. You'll see big cargo ships going up in, in here. Right down this channel. We'll stay, stay down low as if we are a, uh, a boat. And uh, then we'll land in Stockton Harbor. But there were some resorts down here, like Lost Isle Resort, which I don't believe is open right now, but a bar, and they'd have music, and, and uh, we'd come down here on the on the stag weekend. Uh, we'd we'd come down here, and possibly this this little this little island right here with the trees could be where Lost Isle Resort was. Then they have Windmill Slough. That's probably Lost Isle Resort right there. The Windmill Slough is along here. And I've landed at Stockton Metropolitan Airport uh, several times. And what is that up there? Yeah, I uh, never, never landed at Long Field. All these, all these little, little things you can go around. As long as there's not a boat uh, parked or fishermen, you don't want to, you want to, don't want to blast. Uh, past them and the Stockton Yacht Club will be down here off to on the left side big yacht club so we can't quite see the Sierras if it was a clear day you'd see you see the Sierras up here of course they they're white this <laughs> we had so much snow I can't can't believe now 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 the uh, windmill slough that might be windmill slough right right in there. Yeah, we can look up this way. There's Lodi up there. I flew uh, Gordon McRae, my uh, my CPA and friend, lived next door uh, from the east was uh, Gordon the Cray's manager. Gordon was in, uh, in uh, Oklahoma, the, the musical Oklahoma. He's quite a singer. He's gone now. But I flew Gordon over there. He was on a nostalgia tour. And uh, that little Comanche that I flew all the way to San Juan, Puerto Rico. And we're gonna miss Stockton Yacht Club if I keep talking. I think we went right by Stockton Yacht Club. Could be right along in here. It's pretty close to Stockton. So the ships uh, will dock on the on the right side, and uh, I've had I've had a picnic lunch right right down in there with the with the houses right on the water. Oh, we got a we got a ship I think in the uh, in the harbor, and then this goes goes down to a to a dead end down here so I need to uh, start coming slowing down and coming in with flaps look at that resort right in there and I got to get in behind here to there we go we'll fly by the the ship this is this is to prove to you that uh, yeah there are sh there are there are big sh big ships that come down here and and uh, so this is all 30, 30 to 40 feet deep, maybe 50 feet deep in some spots. My uh, boat had, uh, had had twin jet jet uh, jet uh, engines and uh, water jet. They were actually off of jet skis. They were Yamaha. Uh, and and we gotta gotta get ready to. Uh, there's there's a bridge that goes across right here. We wanna we wanna be able to stop at the end. There's another ship. And uh, then I five goes right right over this. There's another ship. <laughs> Looks like they're tearing it apart. But that's just because the satellite uh, they haven't handcrafted this area 
but that's what the computer thinks the ship looks like. That's because the, the photograph was taken from from overhead. Okay, and here's the harbor. So we'll go ahead and land. Yeah, we might be able to go here a little further. And put the flaps down all the way. Don't want to run into something. I bet. Oh, that's the bridge. That's the bridge. That's I-5. So you see, they haven't handcrafted that yet. They haven't handcrafted that yet. So hopefully we we can stop before it craps out. <laughs> Here, that's it. Should have turned turned the engine off before. You can hear the cars going by. Oh, we'll look back up. Back up in there. All right. Yeah, that's I-5. So that's what happens when they don't handcraft. And uh, my understanding of the handcrafting is that they, they take all the photographs that we've been taking from where the computer finds photographs of pe what they've taken of the bridge. And then Google, of course, is flying around all the time. Uh, I shouldn't say Google because this is not uh, this is Microsoft that made this look at look at we're float we're floating out so uh, I could I could start start the engine let's see I see if I start it here and uh, we got to get in behind there we go and it's uh, floating away put the flaps up uh, anyway the uh, uh, the, the helicopter, I think it went by here in Monterey yesterday, taking taking pictures of the streets and so forth. And so they use they use those photographs uh, and uh, and just uh, upgrade. So let's see if it, the engine starts. I think we got it. Uh, There we go. There we go. Get the little flap down. <laughs> we were we were on something. Did you see it? Did you see it jump? Yeah, I'll just show you that. Oh. Oh. Heavens. What's going on? Oh, I'm just I'm just. I'm looking outside. I'm looking at where I'm flying, and I'm, I'm not not paying attention to the airspeed. Okay, we'll land down here by the. Yeah, by the ships. All right, enough of that. Thanks for. Thanks for riding along. And uh, the airplane still seems to fly. I thought maybe I damaged it. Thanks. That's that's uh, that's your Delta Delta tour. No more no more Delta time. My friend uh, in Arizona said, "Let's go back to the Delta." So, Chuck, there's your Delta tour. Thanks for watching. Bye.